Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and welcome to the weekly news roundup from across the Trust. This week, we marked World AIDS Day. This is a milestone moment as 2021 marks 40 years since the first cases of what later became known as AIDS were officially reported. We've come such a long way since then, as our HIV team can testify, and more about that in a moment. Also today, how our colleagues are supporting our plans to go greener. And we put the spotlight on our occupational therapists who are all out and about keeping us happy, healthy at home. But first, with advances in treatment, HIV has been transformed from a fatal to a chronic manageable condition where people can live long, healthy lives. Here's staff nurse Tanya Late Huzzard and HIV specialist nurse Mary Aressi to tell us more about the treatments we offer. HIV is just a chronic illness. Uh, it's very well managed. We've got very good uh, scientific progress. People live with it and you can live a long time with no problems. Treatments have changed tremendously from people just having HIV and then basically dying to complex treatments, antiretroviral therapy that works. People are taking hopefully one or two pills and that's all they need to do. Just to dispel a couple of myths, you can't pass HIV on if you're taking your medication and you're virally undetectable. And the other thing is we have children born, two mothers who have HIV and the babies are HIV negative through taking treatment in pregnancy. It's very easy to access centres where you can have your HIV test. You can have it either at your local sexual health clinic, you can also have it at the local support groups, which are MESMAC or our project. You can also have it at the GP or with your, any other doctors. Thanks both. What important messages to deliver. Now, it's only a couple of weeks since COP26 and our own Green Summit that was staged here at the Trust. I'm delighted to say that the events have generated a real buzz for us to go even greener amongst our colleagues. Here in the NHS, we're on a mission to become net zero by 2040, and that means reviewing everything that we do. Here's our Environment and Sustainability Manager, Craig Wilson, to explain more. At the Green Summit, uh, we covered um the sustainable procurement of goods and services, sustainable travel and transport, waste management and recycling, and how to engage with our employees and workforce going forwards. One of the discussions that took place at the summit was regarding uh, how the Trust uses single-use items, especially single-use plastic packaging. So we'll be looking at that over the uh, next few months as to how uh, to reduce that. The NHS has a huge impact in terms of travel and transport with the logistics and also getting our workforce to and from sites. So we've got uh, cycle to work schemes. Next year we're looking at more sort of active travel uh, solutions for our workforce. We're looking to hold the next Green Forum in late January. So please get in touch on the email and uh, we look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, Craig. It's really exciting to hear what's happening already and our plans for the future. Now, let's see what else has been making the news across the Trust. It's really, really incredibly important that Sovereign retains its links to Bradford and makes a positive contribution to the local health and well-being of people and to do that in association with the Trust is fantastic. Yes, thank you so much, Anne, for all of your hard work and your commitment. 51 years is amazing and we will really miss you. 
Finally, if you have ever had occupational therapy here in Bradford, you'll know how the team helps to get people back doing everyday tasks for themselves. They help patients who have reduced mobility due to a disability or maybe an accident or an illness or just down to the effects of ageing. Here's Head of Therapies Nicola Sheehan to describe the support that we offer. As a patient, you'll see an occupational therapist if you come into hospital. They'll work with you and your family to plan your discharge home. They might provide you with aids or equipment so that you can function at home as independently as possible. They might do an assessment of you in your home environment so they can see what things you might require. You can see behind me a number of aids that the occupational therapist might use with patients to help their independence. We've currently got about 40 occupational therapists working across the trust. Occupational therapists do approximately 40,000 patient contacts a year. You might see an occupational therapist as an outpatient. They work with people who've had injuries to their hands and might provide splints or other orthotics to help you with hand function. The best part of being an occupational therapist is when you get to see a patient go home and they're able to function as independently as they possibly can in their home environment. Thanks so much, Nicola. It's great to be able to spotlight the support you and your team provide. Well, that's about it for this week. And as usual, all our latest news and updates can be found on our social media channels, Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook. And of course, with the new COVID-19 variant Omicron now detected in the UK, it is more important than ever for you to get vaccinated. Be it your first, second or your booster jab, please do take up the invitation and get protected. And finally, we would like to wish a happy Hanukkah to everyone celebrating this week across the Bradford District. Take care and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye for now.